He's one of Britain's most controversial celebrities, and he's often overstepped the mark. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Piers Morgan went too far. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. In light of Piers' recent clash with one Ariana Grande, we're reminded of some of the other times this British TV personality has stirred up controversy. So for this list, we've gathered Piers Morgan's most infamous moments from heated arguments on live TV to social media scandals. While his public backing for Donald Trump has triggered a backlash in some circles, Morgan's direct political persuasions aren't included today. I thought I'd be fired if I hit him. I mean, I got fired three weeks later anyway. Oh. <laughs> kind of should have hit him. Uh, but there's still time. <laughs> Number 10. Body Shaming Susan Sarandon Piers takes to Twitter to kick things off for some ill-received comments on Susan Sarandon's clothing choice. The Thelma and Louise star had recently presented the In Memoriam section at the 2016 SAG Awards when Morgan called her out on her white suit, black bra outfit. Asking Sarandon whether she'd dressed the same for a funeral, he labelled the look horribly inappropriate, much to the displeasure of thousands of followers. Well, actually, a lot of people... Can Does he have a job, a real job? Why does he have so much time? Currently, this might be the closest That's thing he has. He's, he's doing something again today. He can't stop. I don't oh. think his mother nursed him. Something's like... <laughs> okay, Piers was promptly taken down for body shaming before backtracking to explain himself. Sarandon's Rocky Horror response was priceless, though. Number 9. Calling Rebecca Vardy a wag Who wears the trousers in this house? Me. In Piers' line of work, it's important to appear relevant. But during this interview with the Vardys for Good Morning Britain, Morgan showed how out of touch he was. Asking Rebecca about her life as a footballer's wag, he was promptly put in his place for the outdated terminology. For a wag, I mean, wag just means wife and girlfriend. I know it does, but... It's a bit derogatory, isn't is it? Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Do you feel is. that? Pointing out that she was more than just a wife or girlfriend, Rebecca left Piers to try and laugh away his error. But the moment only served to highlight his arrogance. What are we going to call you now if we can't call you wanks? My name, like I'd call you yours. <laughs> An awkward own goal if ever we saw one. Number 8. Pushing Clarkson's Buttons and Did he, he permanently like? scarred me here. Let's have a look. You can see it above my temple, because he had a little ring on. Another of Britain's more divisive personalities, Jeremy Clarkson has famously flung a few punches in his time. But back when Piers was the editor of the Daily Mirror, Clarkson memorably caught him with a well-placed hook. Every woman who's found out what I did has said, why did you hit him? And every man says, where did you hit him? <laughs> the car enthusiast was allegedly unhappy about reports on his private life which were published in Morgan's paper, so he settled the score with a good old-fashioned scrap. And as per his telling of the story on Parky, he even fractured a finger. You really gotta hate a guy to hit him that hard. I had to punch Piers Morgan. I broke my finger on him. Did you really yeah, look, punch that, look, him? I, that is a broken finger on Piers Morgan. If I don't yeah. get a round of applause for that. Number 7. Breaking the news embargo on BBC wage bills. And that is all going to be published at 11 o'clock this morning. It could be a fun day ahead. Given his career in the media, Piers is no stranger to press embargoes. But that didn't stop him breaking one in July 2017, when the BBC wage bills were announced. Morgan released details of BBC earnings above £150,000 around an hour before their official time of publication, therefore undercutting every other journalist working on the story. Faced with angry criticism, Piers took to social media to seemingly brag, claiming he'd simply got the scoop. <laughs> we are an absolutely shining example of not just equality, but women dominating. Amongst other things, Morgan's rivals called him naff and a bellend. Number six, shouting down the gender debate. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, it sounds utterly ridiculous. But you know what it is? It's because we're kind of old. The Good Morning Britain sofa has staged plenty of heated discussions, but Piers' methods aren't always all that welcome. And he was at his hot-headed worst throughout May 2017, when gender issues routinely featured on GMB. While Susanna Reid plays a pragmatic host, Piers' constant questions allow little time for answers, leaving his non-binary guests increasingly frustrated. If you could basically come in and say, I'm not a boy or girl anymore, what else can you say you're not? You know, if I identify now as 
anything. Is it is is anything fine? I mean, can it's, I be anything I want? Can I be an elephant? Can I literally <laughs> literally say I'm now an elephant? And I, do I get afforded <laughs> elephant rights? Can I go to London Zoo? Very... Having muddled through the misuse of pronouns and repeatedly refusing to switch perspectives, Morgan goes on to align gender with law. Blissfully, the interview ends with Piers put in his place for fear mongering. We feel non-binary. The They've heard you guys talking less. about being non-binary. They think it's cool. It's not about being cool, it's, it's about, about an cool. inner sense of self and an identity. Number five, making a mum cry. What on earth are you doing buying a three-year-old girl 60 pairs of shoes? The guest for our next clip certainly split viewer opinion, but Piers' treatment of her was uncomfortable to watch. More interrogation than interview, his relentless rant smelled strongly of the bully many believe he is. The incident occurred after a mother billed for damage to her child's shoes during a playdate. This is nothing to do with my parenting, and it's not fair, all of the bullying and everything. It's got everything to do with no, your parenting. No, it's got an sense. But rather than let the audience decide, Piers launched an ongoing offensive, which resulted in literal tears. And it's not the only time he's had motherhood on his agenda either, even clashing with Susanna on the issue of age. Sure, viewers will let us know what they think. Okay. Babies at maybe, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. As usual, I suspect I'm not. <laughs> Number four, telling men to man up. I, I don't like the way that a stiff upper lip, manning up and all that kind of thing, has now become something to be offensive. With mental health issues finally being widely discussed, Morgan triggered a massive backlash by outlining his stance in May 2017. With comments made in and around Mental Health Awareness Week, Morgan tweeted criticism for male public soul-bearing, telling sufferers to man up, and questioning the accuracy of mental illness statistics. His remarks led to followers labelling him everything from evil to medieval, and ex-footballer Stan Collymore hit back on GMB. Is that you shouldn't have to man up, sit there, have a stiff upper lip. You should, at the appropriate time if you are struggling, go to your doctor, speak to a friend and say... But I would, say, I, would, I would agree with that. Just a few weeks later, and Susanna had to battle Piers again over his opinions of the Wimbledon men's final. Um, this and is yeah, what I'm talking it's about. It's your world, Piers Morgan, and we just have to live in it. Number three, slamming Ariana Grande. Piers rarely says sorry, but even he had to apologise for this. In the wake of 2017 suicide bombings at an Ariana Grande gig in Manchester, Morgan heavily criticised the singer for not visiting survivors of the attack in hospital. But when Ariana returned to the city to A, see the victims, and B, arrange the One Love Benefit gig, Morgan admitted that he had misjudged her. Piers took to Twitter with sincerity to congratulate Grande on a magnificent night, although he couldn't resist reminding followers that he's very rarely wrong. Number two, reacting to the Women's March. I'm also we're not having, you. you are, you're shouting over me and we're not getting any kind of debate about what I'm we were really you marching answer, for. You're making absolutely zero sense. Where to start with this one? In January 2017, Madonna made headlines for controversial bomb the White House comments at the Women's March and Piers wasn't happy. Cue a long list of tweets and rants as Morgan manages to anger just about everyone. You're in favour of free speech if Madonna wants to blow up the White House. You're not in favour of inflammatory things Donald Trump says. I'm in favour. Susanna Reid cut him down more than once, and Ewan McGregor outright refused to be interviewed on Good Morning Britain unless Piers was absent. Which I think is a shame, and kind of plays into my view that maybe actors should just talk about the films and not get so worked up about politics because not really their game. Days later and Morgan's widely jeered when he shows up at the National Television Awards wearing a gag. Well played, Susanna. Number one, the phone hacking scandal. So, so you listened to all of that. Did, did you know that that was unethical? Uh, not unethical, no. Controversy clung to Morgan during his stints as editor of the News of the World and the Daily Mirror in the 90s and early 2000s. He'd eventually lose his job for publishing fake photos of the Iraq war, but his time at the top is most remembered for the phone hacking scandal. While Piers has repeatedly denied involvement, investigations have found that many cases occurred under his editorship, especially at the Mirror, including a major story involving Paul McCartney and Heather Mills. Where's Ian Hislop when you need him? In so many because, words, because last no. week Eddie Izzard said so everybody roared words. with laughter as if it was hilarious. I just thought I'd say <laughs> people like him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.